left the beach, I have one thing on my mind. Clean, 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 clean. Okay? So, shower because my sponge baths, bird baths, okay, they only last so long. Not only that, I feel like I'm full of sand. All my bedding needs to be washed and clean. I have clothes to wash and I need to clean out the van from the sand. So we're going to take care of that this morning. All clean. I feel refreshed. Yes. Don't look the greatest today. That's okay because today is I gotta wash my clothes. <laughs> gotta wash my clothes. So, yeah. Let's go ahead to the laundry mat. This is why I save all my change <laughs> for laundry. Clothes and linen is in the wash. It's one of my least favorite things. Y'all already know that. Plus, this time, I have to wash my sheets and my blankets and my pillowcase because sand is everywhere when you go to the beach. So, you got to clean everything. It's all good because there ain't no way I'm hopping in that bed tonight with a fresh, clean body and there's sand or anything in the bed I'm washing everything anyways while that's washing I just wanted to touch or just talk about my experience you know because I really had some downtime some quiet time and I don't know for me guys it's kind of like I'm a spiritual person, um, and a lot of times, even though I don't know that I'm lis listening to my spirit, but I am, I know when my spirit told me it's time to leave the desert, it's time to go to the ocean, and things like that, I listened, and I went, and I'm glad that I did, because, you know, during my time there, I worked a little bit, but I didn't, you know, I worked on, you know, did my videos, answered some emails. Um, you know, I talked to my mom and sister on the phone and stuff like that. But I didn't really interact with too many people while I was there. So I was really able to be one with myself and be one with the ocean and get away. You're not welcome in here. And <laughs> so sometimes when I do that, I get downloads. I don't know if you know what downloads mean. I get things fed 
to my spirit. And like last night, I stayed up till like almost two in the morning because I'm getting these downloads and I'm, I'm like, but how, how, and I, I'm confused. You know, sometimes we don't always understand everything that the spirits or the most high is giving us and what i got from my time on the ocean is that um us women go through so much in life there's so many expectations of us we're mothers we're wives we're daughters we're sisters we're aunties, we're professional people, we're business partners, we're, we're friends, um, we're mothers. I don't know if I said that already. There's so many expectations placed upon the woman. You know, we're nurturers at heart. We're giving. Um, you know, and, 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 and what I got was like, there's this concept that we're supposed to be this strong black woman. Okay. <laughs> and at that moment on the beach, I let my guards down. I expose my vulnerability to nature and I let nature have its way with me. And this <laughs> I did. And I felt like my spirit was able to breathe and I wasn't clouding it with all these things um, to the point where it was able to speak to me. And what I got from it was, you know, um, a lot of people reach out to me. I'm not sure if you guys know, but a lot of women reach out to me. Um, with concerns or issues and and things that they want to talk about and I have always since childhood been that type of person that listens to others and um, that shows empathy and sympathy for others and try to be non-judgmental at my best okay I've always been that way and just and then Connecting this all, this all happened while I was there. Connecting everything together. It's kind of like, and then reading my my historical background with, with me being connected to the Balanta people and the Bantu people and the Timney people. You know, there were traditions that we had where, you know, the women's were, were nurturers, were healers. And we worked, you know, with um, our ancestors and with the Most High providing guidance and and just things like that and it's just kind of like <laughs> my goodness and then understanding my roots and bringing that all together it's like okay yeah i know my roots and i i know who where i come from and it's like okay now what you know how me knowing that information how is that going to help me and how is that going to help me help others so what was coming up in my spirit was the need to, I don't know. Okay. I'm just going to say it because I, but I don't know how it's all going to work out. Okay. The need to connect women together and the need to, since I travel and I, I am out in nature sometimes and nature really does heal. Nature heals. I'm, I'm, it's no joke. And I, since I know that, it was like, how can I bring women together in a nature type setting where we can, um, we can help one another? Kind of like, I know some of you have mentioned things like, um, you're afraid to go camping or you're afraid to do van life. You're afraid of being by yourself and, and stuff like that. Like how <laughs> having women come together 
in some way, shape or form a campground and things like that. But also I wanted to like, what was in me was including like some type of healing activities and, and creating kind of like a sisterhood, you know, because there's so much that we go through and, and I'm feeling it in my spirit. Like sometimes a person just needs someone to talk to. Sometimes a person just needs a hug. And sometimes a person just needs a safe place to exist, to be without being judged, without any type of outside influences and create, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm sitting there guys, I'm thinking, and I'm sitting there last night and I'm like, I'm, I'm praying about it and I'm like, well, you gave me this, this idea, but how is this going to happen? I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know how to implement that or, or what. Uh, I don't know. I wrote some notes down because you know me. <laughs> but there is a such thing as called wellness travel. And... Uh, I was just like, you know, when we think about self-care and things like that, we, th we think about, we normally think about like going to spas, doing yoga exercises and things of that sort, okay? Well, when I think of wellness in a sense, I think of kind of like, a, it, it goes a little deeper, you know, because especially for women of color we have some generational trauma okay generational trauma that only you know not to be d divisive in any type of way but that only we know that we're going through these things we need like a safe a safe place you know where we can heal from generational racism, generational trauma, you know, <laughs> things like that. I, it, it's, I think it's important for our self development, self growth, self healing, spiritual healing. Um, yeah, I think, okay. I mean, Yeah, guys, it's, I don't know. This is just, this just dawned on me while I was there. And now I'm I'm sitting here and I'm praying about it. And, and I'm thinking like, how most I, how most I. And I first, I was like, I'm not going to do this video. I'm not going to talk about it. But to my drive to Austin, my spirit kept saying, share this with your community. Share this with your community because... Uh, you know, I think a good 68% of my subscribers are women and we're older women, experienced women and some younger, some older. And we've been through a lot. You know, I have personally know that I have been through a lot um, in life, things that I don't normally talk about and I hold a lot in. And I think that um, I, I handle my life very well and I try to learn from from every experience that I have in life and I do believe that my ancestors are with me I do believe the spirit of the most high is inside of me and he guides me and they guide me and I feel that energy I feel it and I rely on it and um, the last two or three years, I have really been trying to exercise the right and give myself the okay to tune into that and to listen to that because they're not there to harm me or hurt me in any type of way. Um, it, they're there to, to develop me and, and to get me to where I need to be. So I don't know, guys. I'm just reaching out to you guys. I, I really would like some your feedback on something like this. Um, what are your thoughts, suggestions, ideas? Um, how would I do this? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to keep praying about it. I'm going to wait to hear back from you guys. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to share that. 
put that out on the platform. Um, yeah, because some we need to heal. We need to heal. Healing is important to our self growth, our self development, and our spiritual development. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, guys, thank you for listening, and I look forward to hearing your comments. is another least favorite part of van life. Uh, I don't like with such a tight, small space. Making the bed is a lot more work. My God, but it's getting done. It's getting done. I got this, my, my fitted sheet on there, my cooling sheet. I got this fleece on blanket on. Then I'm about to put this on. Then this goes on top of that. And then I just recently bought a small throw. Almost there. Almost there. <laughs> All right. Bed is made. Clothes are put away. Whew. Now I know for a fact I'm going to sleep real good today. Or tonight, I should say. Now the other question is... Where am I going to sleep? Don't know yet. Laundry bag. Now I got another problem. Is I have my outdoor rug that I used at the beach. And it is full of sand. So, people looking at me, girl. <laughs> so I gotta find somewhere to like clean this thing I don't know hold on and now I also have this firewood I didn't use so when I put all that in the car it takes up all that space <laughs> yeah it does but I think I worked up a thirst so I think I need to go get me something to drink for sure oh my goodness oh that's refreshing hmm I drove around and you already know it was, it was getting late and it was getting dark. And I drove around Central Austin, um, downtown area. Whew, that was a busy area. How dare I? <laughs> During rush hour. Yeah. And I was kind of just getting a feel for different parts of the city you know of where like I want to work at and definitely not downtown but it was pretty busy for a Friday night anyways um, but I think I found an area that is good I believe but the only problem is it's it's dark outside so and I found a place to stealth in this area as well my food's here Nope. So, I think what I'm gonna do is in the morning, guys, I am going to log into DoorDash and see if breakfast is popping around here and lunch is popping. That will probably give me, you know, it would give me a good feel of the area that I'm in um, before nightfall, if it, you know, for dinner. 
So we'll see how that goes. But other than that, you guys, I found me something to eat today. <laughs> yes. I'm at, what is this called? Taco Ranch. <laughs> My cousin got me hooked on these asadas. So I got a steak asada. It was four bucks. And some chips and queso dip, because you know, I love my cheese. <laughs> so I'm just gonna eat my dinner, and I'm right by where I'm supposed to sleep at tonight, which is another Walmart. <laughs> so apparently they allow overnight camping here, so we'll see how that goes, okay? <laughs> yeah. There is dinner for tonight. Yeah, my queso and chips, steak, asada, fire roastery salsa. So guys, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and get a good night rest. And like I always say, live your joy, travel safely, and I will see you on the next video. Shalom. So I'm at the Walmart, guys. And there's this minivan over here. <laughs> You would not guess believe what I was like. I'm like, is there someone in that van? <laughs> I think there's someone in there just sitting in the driver's seat. And I'm looking like, and I said, oh my gosh, that person looks like a creep. And then I was like, but I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> I'm doing the same thing. I'm sitting in my front seat just observing everything. Looking around. <laughs> I probably look like a creep too. 